Welcome back everyone to a bonus episode of our Returnal walkthrough gameplay and lore. And I've just come upon our home once again in the first world, Overgrown Ruins. And there are two audio logs here that I'm going to play and then I'm going to go in the house and go through that. So let's go ahead and see. Open again. Smothered fire. Cracked triptych. I affix one sun face fragment to another. Reignite the sun. Okay, that's the sun that is hanging on the wall in her home. Uh, the golden sun face. Okay, so we need four more ciphers to get the um the correct translation first test origin of transmission understanding on high but i'm abomination and wombs glory so we don't we don't currently have that yet um let's go ahead and go in experience some more lore there is a quest where you can collect sun face fragments fog seeping inside am I not the only thing that can enter here that's the sun face right there it's all dark of course uh, medicine bottles Thea her mother the bridge more from her notes and left retribution roaring through a wake of dead stardust exactly as the fog pouring from the funerary urn's maw funerary urn had predicted so her mother her mother's urn for the first time since the ship's fatal accident Tally felt alive the ship's fatal accident that could be the crash. They were burning to ashes, she admitted in a detached voice, no longer her own, feeling the bulkhead against her pinned shoulders reverberating as another god gutted into smoke in their engine's crematorium. Crematorium. You will not get him back. Gods and titans, ashes upon ashes, my ship is dying. I am dying. But will you not save him? They are all trapped behind a lock tight. Tighter than Tartarus was deep. Rage, loathing, loathing impotence. Um, I'm wondering if that's the mother. Um, they're talking about burning to ashes. She felt them all like the unpredictable hot winds of her desert homeland wash over her from the astronaut's unseen gaze. It knew she had won. Tally awakens again, this time in a pool of blood that is mostly not hers. This time in her time. Past and future be damned. Slumping on the ground, she looks down the hallways. The astronaut is gone, probably in another failed attempt to break the autopilot subsystems. She had to extend some respect to it for being as driven as she was. Her starship would crash. That is inevitable now. The descent is predictable. As a mathematics, a sickening prophecy, but there is an if outcome remaining, assuming she can have the words of it interpreted another way by Oracle. Amid the destruction, spreading from the hole pierced through the hole of retribution, Tali Acheron finds her center. The blood soaking up through her pants is absorbed into her veins. Heart rate quickens into the thrill of adrenaline. The unconscious patterns her fingertips lightly draw in the ether. That which destroy now creates. There can be no paradox in a world without end of beginning. Everything is permitted in my domain. In the astral, she turns the regret rusted key in the lock. The door opens, Solace, now returning to the hallway where she chased Astronaut to the shadow-stained gate. Though the barrier pushed her away before, she finally has the means to compel entry. Mother's ire, smothered fire, I affix each one, glory, reignite the sun. 
Italian tones, silence, glory, the booming voice of Oracle, ten million whispers united in an unyielding force of eternity. The sun-faced totem evaporates from Tali's second sight. The pang of loss grips her soul feebly, then likewise is gone. We must forget to remember. We must leave to return. We must die to live. And the gate shimmers to transparency, allowing the first mortal passage in countless millennia. Tali descend into Pythia's inner sanctum. Each step, eternity's weight descends into her inner sanctum. Um, she finds the throne illuminated by a single beam of golden light. She sits. She wills herself to be oracle for only the single instant it will take to disintegrate the world. Sanctioning retribution to pass unharmed through the cost will be... There are some hints there, but I need more to pick it together. There are some hints there. Let's head upstairs. Or no, let's, uh, let's check out this area. Here's the piano. What the hell is on top of this piano? That is creepy. That's her mother's voice. Creepy AF, bro. The astronaut. When we look back at the monumental success of the first crude tragic car accident occurred in the Okanagan Wenatchee landing, it is impossible to divorce the forest. Although authorities have yet to identify the mission significance in itself from the effects the cause, as road conditions were optimal, the car broke through a guardrail and plunged witnessing world. Then to Lake. So, again, we get insight into the fact that there was an accident. The driver was Thea, her mother, who suffered major injuries, and the daughter was unharmed, which is us. Creepy, bro. What do you want? It's you, isn't it, Mother? I told you to. Okay, more is the mother. 
more insight into the mother. Okay, um, we get a spaceship model for doing that. Um, Alright guys, well that concludes bonus episode number one. We're going to have more bonus episodes like this as I find more lore items that I missed the first run. Um, mainly because I didn't die the first run other than the scripted death at the beginning of the game. So anyway guys, I will see you the next time. Bye bye.